Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. I just did a video, so this is part two. And I stated in the video that this is these are both text or exact copies. And the, the first way somebody did it, they converted to a curve and then they took the virtual segment delete key and deleted the lines uh, because you can't delete the lines of a text. And then the other way, I just took it and even though the weld tools don't show up because it's a text, I went to object and shaping and welded it. Though Now there is a difference. If we take this and turn it blue on the inside, you can get some problems. Where this, if you turn it blue, you don't get those problems. Also, even if you've done this, you could smart fill this and nudge it out of the way and you won't have that problem. And also there's a, a difference in the uh, outline to this object. So if we put a light blue ob uh, outline to it and we take this one and fill it in with blue and take a, an outline, we're gonna make the outline 10 points. This one, we'll have to select the whole thing and get to the outline and make it 10 points. Whoop. I didn't click on the outline. Look at the difference in the quality of the outline uh, versus one versus the other. You get a lot cleaner outline. I mean, look at the, uh, it's almost, uh, let me look at, look at this right here compared to this right here. So with that said, it's better to just weld it and like I said in the first part of the video, uh, the weld tool does not show up because it is a text. So you could convert it to a curve and then the weld tools will possibly show up but not really because you got to break the curve apart. But then when you do that, it creates another problem. If you have interior, like that interior part of the, the G is gone. So if you just do it with the weld tool from a text, from the shaping and the weld, that stays in there and everything's done. Hope that made a little bit of sense and thank you for watching.